Okay, let's look at an example on how to use this pivot um, calculator. Over here we have a simplex tableau and uh, they want to know to compute the next pivot element, determine the next tableau, and then the particular solution. So these are the coefficients of the equations. We have the each in their columns here, labeled. So we can just bring them over 12, 3, 1, 0, 0, 15. I just use the top one. And if we want, we can change these to x, y, you know, u, v, m. u, v, m. Okay? And then just leave that one as the last column. And then you put the rest of them in. Now we need to figure out the pivot element before we do any calculations. It's 4 right here. Why is the pivot element 4? Well, we look at these two negative values and we look at the smaller of the two. Smaller of the two is negative 8, right? Now we're in that column. Then we look at the ratios of these guys. So 12 divided by 4 ratio. It's 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. We take the smaller of those two. So 3 is smaller and negative 8 is small. So they cross right here at the 4. That's the pivot element. We go over here. I click fraction because my answers are in fractions. And then I click 4. And all the pivoting, remember, is just making this a 1 and then making a 0 above it and below it. So that's what this does. Makes it a 1, 0 above and below, and solves the system. Here's the next tableau. 50, uh, 45 fourths, 0, 1, negative 3 fourths, 0, and 6, etc. Now find the particular corresponding solution. Well, remember, x was here. That has uh, numbers in them, so that means this x is equal to 0. v has numbers in them, so it's equal to 0. The solutions are where you see a 1, only in that column. So y has a 1, u has a 1, m has a 1. y is equal to 3, u is equal to 6, and m is equal to 24. So the corresponding point, if you put them in order, x equals 0, y equals 3. 0, 3 is the point on a graph, if you were to graph these equations, and that would be considered the maximum of 24 with a slack variable of 6. Hope that helps.